Zone. The LaSalle University Online Educational Channel. Experience optimal online learning. Oh, hi. I'm Ted Nagent. Brother Gino here. Miss Alex here. And, and we, we are the EdTech Ed Team. Hello everyone, I am Sir John Mark, your EdTech Champ. Today, I will be introducing a not-so-new way of producing lessons, the non-traditional way. It is not so new because I believe many of you have been doing this already since we started the online delivery of instruction. Today, I will share with you about screencasting. For some of you who may not have tried and explored this, I hope this session will interest you and consider this as part of your module preparation. A screencast is a digital video recording of your computer screen and usually includes audio narration. Screencasts are just one of many different types of instructional videos. Simply saying, this is a great way to introduce a lesson or discuss relevant topics and contents in your respective subject area. Screencasting not only saves you time, but it has been proven that 80% of viewers can recall a video they have seen in the past 30 days. Unlike a screenshot, screencast can be called a screen capture video or screen recording and is a great way to teach or share ideas. So why use screencasting? Let me share with you some valuable points. Now, there are four main types of learners, visual, auditory, read-write, and kinesthetic learners. Oral and text-based teaching approaches suit auditory and read-write learners. However, they are effective for visual and kinesthetic ones. And so, teachers need to look for a solution to engage all these kinds of learners. And this is where screencasting can help. Screencasts support learning and teaching. They contain audios, images, closed captions, voiceovers, interactive elements, and other visual cues. These things are beneficial to students who prefer learning through seeing and practicing. With the help of screencasts, the emergence of the internet and the ever-increasing ease of access to web, many teaching trends come to life. It is an ideal choice to describe step-to-step -step processes and explain complex concepts or assign videos as homework and collect learners' feedback. Besides these benefits, teachers can make money from sharing screencasts and interactive tutorials. According to 2015 article in The Athletic, a vast number of digital teachers earned six figures of creating top-selling online materials. For students with screencast, students become more proactive. They can learn at their own pace, watch, pause, or replay videos whenever they want. There's no need to get up early, get dressed, take a bus, you name it. Comfort is a great benefit. Screencasts help improve students' attention and retention compared to classroom and text-based learning. Screencasts offer students 24-7 online access to knowledge, learn every, everywhere and anywhere, and easy to review lessons before tests and exams. Also, students create their own screenshots or screencasts to prove what they understand or record a video they share their ideas with the teacher. The first thing you need to do is to open your Zoom app. If you have not downloaded a Zoom application, you may just go to Zoom embedded in your web. To begin, you have to start a new meeting. Take note that you are not going to invite anyone to join this meeting. This is just allowing you to record your screen and have access to your entire screen for the screencast. Now that you have started your meeting, you're going to hover over the bottom of your screen and click the Share Screen button. After clicking the Share Screen button, 
you need to find the presentation that you will be using for your screencast. Make sure that your presentation is ready, then click Share. Now, it is important that our presentation is ready so that by the time you click Share, it will then come out with a, with a PowerPoint presentation ready for the screencast. As teachers, it is also important that our presentation is clear and interesting to our students so that they will also be glued to listening or to looking at our screencast video. So when you are ready to start recording, you are going to click more and choose record in the computer. This will allow your recorded file to be saved in your computer afterward. Now the red dot on top of your screen will tell you that you have started recording already. If you wish to pause because you might have forgotten something, you just click the pause recording. Or if you wish to stop recording, maybe if you're done already, reco uh, or done re already recording, you're going to click stop recording. As educators and facilitators of learning, our main goal is to make sure that our lessons are interesting and easy to follow. The use of screencast is one way to, re to make sure that our students get interested to listen to us and to be engaged with our lessons. So once you're done, you have to click Stop Recording and you may also click Stop Share and End Meeting to access your recorded file. Once the meeting has ended, Zoom will then convert the meeting into a file where you can view and then it will be saved to your documents. After saving it to your documents, you may check your recorded video and then rename it so you could easily find the file. After that, you can upload it or do whatever you like with your recorded video. So the use of screencasting is one way to achieve uh, engagement with our students. Instead of just merely letting the students read our instructions, we could make screencast lessons for them to be more motivated to study and learn the lessons we prepare for them. So that is how you're going to use screencast using Zoom. Thank you very much and enjoy exploring more digital apps for your classes. As educators, we do not settle for anything less because our students deserve the best of what we can give. Not discounting the essential role of traditional te teaching in learning, however, our ways and means of delivering lessons should also transcend from the conventional learning to adaptive learning where we focus appropriate and effective technology integration in our classes. Thus, screencasting is one of the effective ways in improving our pedagogical practices that is novel, learner-centered, and adaptive to students' learning styles. Thank you very much, and I hope this instructional tool, Screencast, will benefit you and your students. This is Sir John Mark, your EdTech Champ. Cause they ain't even close See casualties cause they can't